It's crazy right now. I mean, it seems like everything in the world is going absolute nuts. Like what is happening in the earth at this very moment? I don't want to say what I'm talking about, but you know, because I heard if you say the thing and then you get demonetized by YouTube and all types of things happen. So we're not going to say it, but we have an understanding. We know what's going on and it's it's crazy. So my family and I are going on the second week of just social distancing and staying indoors for the most part. I've been working from home. She's been working from home. She's a school teacher. They just canceled school for the year. So she's been trying to figure out what to do with her team. And it's, it's been going crazy, but overall we're okay. I mean, we have food, we have each other. We have things that we can still get done. We still have our jobs. We even have toilet paper. We weren't one of those crazy people that went out and just hoarded a bunch of toilet paper, but we have enough to survive. So we're, we're good. <laughs> the whole toilet paper thing, I, I really don't understand because if I ran out of toilet paper, I can get really creative. I got a lot of old t-shirts I don't need. There's plenty of leaves outside. There's things I can do, things I don't want to talk about. I mean, toilet paper is pretty low on the totem pole, but anyways, we have it, so I don't have to go there. Now, even though my family and I are doing well, I know that there are some people out there who aren't doing so well. There's a lot of fear, there's a lot of information being thrown around from different people and you're trying to juggle that there's the financial strain that some people are dealing with there's the health scare there's just so many things to worry about your kids who aren't in school you have to worry about their education it's like what do you what am i gonna do you know and i'm not making a video to tell you that you shouldn't worry i i get it i understand i remember when the government shut down for nearly a month I remember being so worried about not being able to pay my mortgage, not being able to you know, do things to take care of my family financially. So I started looking for second jobs just in case we ended up being shut down for another month. I mean, I just didn't know. But one thing that I kind of recalled is there was a time that hit me where I realized that I could sit here and worry and, and just indulge in the fear or I can make the best of that time. And that's really what I wanna do with this video. I kinda of wanna to touch on, I guess, the silver lining of everything that's happening in the world right now. I mean, there's a lot of videos out there where people are just like harping on all the negative things that are happening, but I wanna make something a little different. I remember making a video during the government shutdown and one of the things that I kinda of focused on is how I could make better use of my time because I had more of it. And now we're kind of dealing with the same thing. We have more time to spend with our families. We have more time to rest. We have a break from the everyday hustle that we experience every day. I have to get up at five in the morning, which really sucks. And then I have to commute almost an hour and a half to my job. I sit at a desk for eight and a half hours. Then I commute another hour and a half back to my house. And then sometimes then I have more things to do. And it's just crazy. I'm like, I just want to go to sleep. <laughs> but with everything happening, I've been able to break away from that. So now that you can break away from your everyday hustle, now you have time to start a new hustle or maybe find a new skill, just something that you've always wanted to do. And the last thing that I think you can do and the thing that I've been kind of focusing on is, is getting back to the things that you love. When I first started this YouTube channel, one thing I really wanted to do is make these spoken word videos that would just motivate and inspire people or just let people know that they're not alone in the things that they're dealing with in their lives. I also discovered a newfound passion, which was filmmaking, and I wanted to become a really good filmmaker. So I, I put a lot of work into just learning the craft and the art of filmmaking and to just make great content while doing so. And even though I was passionate about those two things, and I'm still passionate about those two things, one thing that I forgot about was my kind of like my first love creatively, which was music. I love just, just sitting there and trying to just come up with like the most creative lyrics that I can come up with and being able to perform them for friends and family and strangers and, and people being able to acknowledge like, yo, that's dope, how did you think of that? And being able to arrange and just, you know, just making music. I forgot about how much joy it brought me to just create a song. I was a legit rapper, you know? I wasn't trying to be like the next big hit maker or anything like that, but I was making really good music and having fun making it. During this time, I was on my computer and I was kind of going through old files and finding old songs. And I just 
I was like, why don't I get back to this? Back to the thing I love, back to making music on this thing right here. Hold on. See, this right here is what I forgot about. This right here is what I'm trying to get back to. And I still use this for my spoken words, and I still use this for like, if I'm doing voiceover work or anything like that. But I wanna challenge myself to actually write a song, complete a song, and even if I never put it out there and it's just for me, I think just the fact that I did it and I just took the extra time and I did something that I love to do, I think that would just bring a lot of joy to my life again like it did in the past. And I wanna challenge you to do the same thing. During this time, I challenge you to take at least an hour a day and just dedicate that hour a day to not worrying, to not indulging in the fear and in everything that's going on and just get back to something that you love or even discover something new that you love. You don't have to sit there and just be sad all day and worried all day. You can do that, but why not just take advantage of the extra time that you might have and actually do something that might bring you a little joy? It's something that we could all use right now. Am I right? I know I'm right. Just just do it. So yeah, that's what I wanna challenge you to do. And I think, um, I think that's it for this video. I think I'm done. I think that's it. I'm gonna get started on my song making. <laughs> Hopefully it's not whack, but we'll see. It's been a minute. It's been like two or three years since I made a song. Just saying.